everybody, today I'm doing a look for the Oktoberfest. Um, I'm going there in like two days, I'm leaving. Um, I'm going to do my makeup tutorial, like my based on my eye makeup mostly. And I'm going to show you my dinner, what I'm wearing. And you can also see my the hair look I'm going to wear this year. It's the Milk, make, milk Made Braid. Um, you just like braid to plates and then cross them on your head. I I then took a few strands out so it's a bit yeah more natural not that stiff. Um, if you're going to the Oktoberfest, like I'm German, I go mostly every year because I'm also from the south of Germany, not Bavaria, but southern Germany. And if you go, you should wear a Diendl and you need to have some kind of braid plated hair like if you do two braids or one braid or like open hair and like loose hair and then just a braid around here but something has to be braided so if you want to see how I did my eye makeup and what I'm wearing so keep watching so now I'm going to start with the tutorial um, I already did like my face makeup. I first used the Essence Pore Refining Anti-Shine Serum, which is a, my favorite primer. And then for my foundation, I used the Sephora Mattifying Foundation in 3610. And for my con concealer, I used the Catrice Matte Muse Makeup in 20 Natural Beige. This is like a makeup, but I use this as a concealer just to over my spots and my blemishes and yeah the rest I'm going to show you on camera so for my eyes I'm going to start with the MAC prep and prime in medium dark for my primer and I'm going to use this all over my lid next I am going to take the MAC Crush Crystals in Stacked 1 and I'm taking the darker um, pink color. I'm going to pour something from the crushed crystals like into the lid. And then I'm going to take the Kiko Makeup Milano Mixing Solution. Put a drop of that as well in the lid. And then with the Eveline um, angled eyeliner brush, oh no, this is not an eyeliner brush, an eyeshadow brush. Because it's thicker than the eyeliner brush, I'm going to mix the two things in the lid. And then I'm going to do my liner with this, but like a bigger liner. Like... And then wing it out as well. Yes, like this. So while this is drying, I'm already going to line my waterline with the Manhattan Extreme Last Liner in black. And to give it another pop of color, I'm using the Boulevard de Beauté Eyeshadow Trio. This hasn't any name. I'm just using the middle color, the dark um, pink color, with the small Precise brush by L by Elf, and taking the color and going a bit over the black again. Just like that. So next I'm going to do my liner. I'm using the PS Love Felt Tip Liner in black. This is by from Primac and with this I'm just gonna do my eyeliner need my mirror nearer for this Wow. 
wing it out as well. So, but the thing is, you should be able to see like the pink underneath the black liner. So, um, then I'm going to use the Essence, um, this is just like a pencil, eyeliner pencil in white. Use this underneath my brow bone and in the inner corner of my eye. Blend it out a bit with my finger. And then going over that with again the eyeshadow trio, but this time with the light color, I'm using this with a fluffy brush. This is from Eveline. And I'm going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. Just like that. Next, I'm going to curl my lashes with the Evelyn Eyelash Curler. And then I'm going to put mascara on. This is the L'Oreal Voluminous Full Definition Mascara. It's the one in the gold tube. There's another one in the black tube, which is really good as well. I love those mascaras, both of them. Now I'm going to wait till this dries. And now I'm going to use um, false lashes, but not like the full false lashes, like the single ones. These are from e.l.f., the um, Intensify Black Lashes Individual Lash Kit. And I usually use three lashes um, on each eye. And as my lash glue, I'm using the Sans Fame for Fame Lash Glue. Because I don't like the little ones that come in with them. So I take one of the lashes can see it. Take my lash glue and put a bit like a tiny bit of the lash glue on top of this. Now I have to wait like 30 seconds um, till, the, till the glue gets like a bit um, sticky so it sticks onto your lashes. And I work my way from the outer part of my lashes to the inner. So I start with them on the outer corner of my eyes, like this, and then take the back of an eye brush, of a eyeshadow brush, and stick that on. Next, um, same thing with the next pair of lashes, like the next individual lash. Put the glue on. Wait for it to dry. And this I'm now going to place like next to the ones I already put on but more into the middle of my eye. So right there. Press it on again with the back of an eye shadow brush and do the next thing with the last brush and um, with the last lashes. So if you ask yourself why I just use three lashes um, for each eye, it's because I don't really like having like those full long lashes in the middle of my eye, thing that doesn't look that authentic. And I don't really like using like the full lashes. Well I use for special occasions but I prefer these ones because they look more natural. Oh, I need to do this with the right hand. So last thing for the lashes when they've dried is that you press them in to your real lashes so it looks like it's one and not just like fake lashes so it looks like it's your lashes basically so that's it for the eyes now I'm going to do my face and my lips and um, I'm starting with my bronzer I'm using the elf bronzer and sunkissed 
with my e.l.f. Um, professional bronzing brush. Put this in the hollows of my cheek and in the temples. Like that. For brush, I'm using the Essence Multicolor brush and this is from the Oktoberfest limited edition from last year. And this color is called Fesches Mittmadel. I'm going to use like a bigger, fluffier brush with this. And put this on the in the apples on the apples of my cheeks and then blending it upwards. For my highlighter, I'm using the Essence Highlighter Powder from Love Letters Collection and Love Poem. Again, with the same brush I cleaned that I used my bronzer with. So now I'm going to do my lips, and for that um, I'm using the my Maybelline New York um, lip gloss. In this is like a dark pink. I don't know. I can't read the name or the number anymore. It's like a dark pink color. Yeah, so this is my look for the Oktoberfest. Um, I put like the accent colors. I put um, I use them in pink because my dirndl is pink, and that's why I'm going to show you now. I'm going to show you my dirndl and what I'm going to wear to the Oktoberfest. So this is what I'm wearing. Um, my dirndl is black. As you can see, and it has this um, pink flower detail. Here it has it as well. That's why my Schürze, I don't know how you call it in English, is um, pink as well. And here it is pink as well. Like you can use this in different colors. The blouse I'm wearing with it is, isn't the most traditional one, but I prefer this one because shows a bit more of a skin and yeah I like this of course you really need to push everything up here that's typical with the dirndl and mine is like I think this is like the shortest you should wear because it ha still has to be traditional and if you go shor shorter it's just too short and that's like typical touristy usually it's even longer than this but I like to show some uh, legs and this is what my dirndl looks like so I'm now going to show you the shoes I'm wearing with this for my shoes I'm just wearing black pumps like black high heels um, because they go with my dress and but I always still take with me a pair of flats because if you go stand the whole day your feet will hurt thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and you like my look that I'm opting for this year and I hope I see you with my next video. Bye!